Well, good morning. Steve from Mud Ducks Forward Drive Touring with another spotlight on campgrounds. This time we're in the Wadigan State Forest and we've come to a campground called Turpentine Camping Area. Now, the major differences between this and the other campgrounds we've been exploring in the Wadigans is no facilities. As you can see, you can have fires, you can camp here, there's a walking track but there are no toilets. That's not altogether a big deal, guys, if you camp down here. Casuarina is only a few hundred metres away where there is toilets. But coming down here, we're completely alone. So that's pretty cool. If you're a bit like me and you like a bit of solitude, to not be near the toilets wouldn't be that big a deal, guys. Uh, plus, it's a couple hundred metres jump in your car and drive up there if you don't want to go for the walk. Anyway, we're in the camping area here, in amongst the trees again. So, it's slightly slopey, as you can see. But, yeah, it's just a nice little area. Surely you could find a flat enough spot to set your tent up, your swag. Now, you could no doubt get your camper trailer in here, you get your two-wheel drive in here, and uh, you bring your off-road caravan in. Wouldn't need much level if you hadn't brought your off-road caravan in, would you? Now this bit that I'm walking down to now, I'm guessing I just walk through the camping area, through the bush there, but get to this bit, and uh, that's a nice sort of an area there, has a fire pit. But to get to it, unless you're keen, you sort of drive through this gully here. Now, all of us with four drives wouldn't think twice about this gully. If you're in a road car, maybe not. But uh, all of us in Forbes wouldn't care about that. So, it gets you into that area. Now, this is the main access road that I didn't walk you down, but. Uh, as you can see from up there, that's where I started up there. So it's 100 odd metres away. And then this is the road down here. Now it's still drivable by anything. If you're in a road car, keep yourself out of that rut on the left. But it does get a bit rutted down here, so uh, can't do it here at your own risk. In a four wheel drive, this is all straightforward drivable stuff. But you've got this second section down here where there's plenty of camping. There's a walking track from here somewhere. I saw a sign, I didn't see which way it goes, but I did see the sign. So you can find your way around a walking trail here somewhere. Whether that's it just off there on the right, I don't know. It looks like it might be, but uh, if you come down here, make sure you've got all the right mapping and the gear if you're going to leave the campgrounds to go walking. We don't want you getting lost. We don't want the kids getting lost. But uh, yeah, it's a, not a bad spot. I, I'd camp here. I, I like it for the solitude because everybody wants to be up there near the toilets. This is a long weekend. The middle of a long weekend, Sunday, and there's nobody here at all. Now, driving out that rut might pose a challenge to some, but as you've seen where I walked, you can walk around it. But you could also be a bit further right, it's an easier drive. So I'm pretty confident that any four wheel drive, the standard ones, would drive that. So uh, I don't think any of you guys will have a problem with it. So that's uh, Turpentine camping area, which is uh, pretty good if you ask me. Now where I've parked the truck, it doesn't look like as many people would camp here, but 
there's actually no reason why you couldn't this is more open so here you can here but it looks like a lot of people sort of stop there and turn around for some reason but from here there's a couple of tracks run through here to the left which does take you if you're on foot towards the direction of Casuarina campground and I wouldn't be surprised if you can walk there from here along the track that's stretching out in front of me here but there's another nice little camp area here as I said some of them are a bit slopey but they're flat enough for you to do mostly what you want to do it's been a fire pit there but you know do the right thing with fires you can't go wrong and then walk through this bit of a track and I dead set think that about this point it's a walking track certainly it looks like a walking track and I reckon just knowing the noises and the general direction that you would be heading back to Casey Arena campground He's suddenly making a growling noise in his bush at us. Don't know what it is. But it's in there somewhere. Might be a yeti. Let's hope it's not a yeti. Otherwise, you may never see this video. Anyhow, that's uh, a fair sort of a look at Turpentine Camping Ground which as we said is in the Wadigan State Forest. Now the Wadigan State Forest and Wadigan National Park pretty well, you've got to be paying attention to work out where the boundaries from one to the other is. But, uh, it's all in that same area. So any bands and alerts that apply to one apply to both. So if you're in a total fire ban, it'll be everywhere. If the, for, if the forest, or if the national parks close, you don't see a sign saying the forest close, don't go in there. It's the same thing. So, just give that some thought. I'm just happy to be back in here, because it's been a couple of months since we were allowed to go into the bush for the fire risk. Anyhow, with all that said, I don't think I've got a lot more to tell you about this one, guys. So. Uh, if you liked this video, feel free to put a like on it. If you're new to the channel, thanks for coming along and having a look. Might consider subscribing if you like what you saw. If you're an old hand, thanks again for your continued support and taking the time to watch my videos. And we will no doubt see you on the next one. All the best guys, have a good one, cheers. Busted taking selfies, eh? Busted.